Officer Clay, we get these trains unloaded right quick and keep them moving. No one knows how much lighter they are. <laughs> Harold Cawley, the Tatler. I'm covering Durazio's little corruption racket. Can't imagine it's good for your health, naming names in the Marcano organization. Didn't you hear? Even cigarette smoke will kill you. So here's what I know. We've got city officials taking bribes. Blackmail. Juicy stuff. At the center of it all is a fellow named Frankie Bernard. The problem is, I don't know where he operates. Might make it kind of hard to find him. Ah, but the thing is, I hear Mr. Bernard uses dead drops. Spots where his people leave bribes for officials to pick up. And I just happen to know where they are. I also understand Frankie keeps a sweet blackmail stash of every dirty deal he's done. I'll see if I can't get one of those couriers to give up the location for your mystery man. And his little blackmail stash. The people working for Bernard are just as secretive as he is. You might have to find some way to get them to talk. Bernard has a singularly impressive ability to stay off the radar. Fucking cocksucker.
supposed to be cavemen, and we grew our beards out. Why's that man got a gun? Huh? Why's that man got a gun? Watch it. Oh, hey, watch man it. Said he saw you. That's that's bullshit. I was around the corner and like. Oh, like the sound of that. Invisible. Next time, stand across the fucking street. Hey, you listening? These people feel like they got eyes on them. They won't do business. They don't do business. That goes all the way up to Mr. Duras. Across the street and out of the way it is. I'll meet. How about I drive? What the hell is happening here? How's Frankie Bernard make his money? You ain't proving nothing! Can't tell you shit if I'm fucking dead! Christ! Fuck me! You about to kill both of us. Don't be shy. Talk to me. Can't tell you shit if I'm fuck. I say one word and I'm a dead man. You trying to piss me off? Fine. Fuck it. Kill me. What do I care? Give it up, cocksucker. Mr. Bernard has some bag, man. All I know is you're going to and drive You done in Bourbon City, you get me? At the time, I, I understood the pain Lankin was in. Come home from war expecting peace. But in Lankin's case, all he found was pain. Heartbreak. Ain't no way that doesn't drive you down into the muck and mire. Anyways, I was, uh... I was thinking... Hoping really that uh, 
If I could help him find a little closure, maybe we could shift his focus away from the Marcanos. See, he was in a coma when we laid Sammy and Ellis to rest, so he ain't never had a chance to say his goodbyes. Thought maybe if he did, he might see that he had a chance at a normal life. If there ever was a soul more wrong than I. I do not know him. I think us going to Sammy's like this is going to do you a lot of good, Lincoln. I'll be honest with you, Father. I hardly see the point in it. It's a hard thing to let go and to say goodbye. Saying goodbye won't give me what I want, Father. Maybe what you want isn't what you need, son. Y'all, Lily called yesterday, checking up on you again. I think she's setting her mind on doing something with Sammy's. Can't hardly see what. The shape it's in and all. Well, she's always been a woman of determination. I don't know if you recall, but after Perla passed, Sammy went to a dark place. Buried the loss deep down. Started running girls out of the back of the bar at all hours of the night. Finally, Lily had had enough. She marched in with the fire of God inside of her, kicked all those girls out. Customers, Sammy's crew. And boy, if she didn't lay into her brother like I've never seen, told him he was doing wrong by Perla, but more importantly, he was doing wrong by you boys, sending a message that their mother didn't matter. From that point on, there was no more prostitution in that place. Huh. All I remember from that time is Aunt Lily swooping in and taking us to her place for a few nights, getting ice cream and such. She protected you boys. Family like that's a gift from God, son. on out front. You need to get on inside. Hey, what the hell? Help me! Oh god, they come in! Who is? Them. Get back here, Anna. Stay with her. Let's go. Come on. Here's Anna, and those men. Dealt with. But if more come, I want y'all out of here. One of my parishioners, she's out of town, has an apartment in Tikfa. It's safe. You... You don't know that. I'll take her Locked. There. Meet me when you're ready. All right. Locked. Locked. Covered in blood. Jesus, who the fuck were those people? Should use my recon camera here.
Everybody tells a story. Shot him as he was running away. Covered in blood. That's what that girl Anna was saying. Now what the hell happened to you? Some kind of tattoo. Might mean something. or something. This thing looks ritualistic. These markings. Strangest thing. Maybe for a ceremony of some kind. Never seen a card like this. Flowers hand painted. Interesting. Looks like he took a knife to the gut. signs of being restrained. Looks like you messed with the wrong girl. Think I have what I need. Should go meet with Father James. Maybe even combat stress reaction. But I think the term that I always preferred was uh, shell shock. We all heard it said before that uh, war is hell. <laughs> Ain't no surprise there. The pain, the guilt, the anger and the rage for what you were forced to do in a wartime situation. It sticks to your soul. So I, uh, I knew right then and there that whatever that girl was going through was some kind of war. 
because there was hell burning in her eyes. I've been talking to Anna about those men over at Sammy's. They didn't drag her over there. She went with them, willingly. That don't make any sense. This girl was running for her life. And on the inside of Sammy's, there were three words written on the wall. Covered in blood. Never seen anything like it. Sammy ever tell you boys stories about the Asanglante? Sure. Thought he was just trying to scare us. Asanglante is French for covered in blood. Now, they can be traced back to the original settlers who came here looking for a new life, but instead found only death. It all turned around when they incorporated the new ceremonies into their religious practice. Like human sacrifice. That part always stuck with me. So you think Anna's one of them? All I know for certain is that girl is mixed up with a bunch of very bad people. Lincoln? I need to show you something. Can you shed any light on this? Look, Cher. My eyes have been on you for weeks now. I see the shit you put up with around here. It's not so bad. What about the way Phil back there can't keep his head off your ass? Or the way the cheap bastards around here never leave you a tip? That not so bad? This place ain't ever gonna deliver the happiness you deserve. But we can. Why are you saying such sweet things to me? Maybe you shouldn't be asking why I'm saying these things to you. But why hasn't someone said them to you sooner? Be part of us and a baby. Why did you make me feel welcome like I belonged? Is that why you went to Sam? Well, they didn't give me a choice. They said it was the only way that I could be purified. Let me go. I won't say anything. Please. Well, I, I tried to stop them, but I... I, I couldn't. I, 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 I just had to get out of there, and, and he... The, 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 the,
Ain't this fun? Good to see you again, Councilman. How's that new wife of yours? Fine. Mr. Bernard assumes you'll remember your friends in the vote next week. The hell was that? Invite only, friend. Lucky I got one right here. Friend of mine named Anna had a car just like that. Used to come in all the time. Ain't seen her since she went off with one of Bonnie's she crew. She got it from her brother. She's not Supposed in a good way. And I'm here to have a word with Bonnie about it. Said. I told get her in here. I'll no give you the nickel tour. If that will help you help Anna. Private Twinkle Toes, where do you think you're going? Just showing our new guest around. Mind the door for me, would you? I'm Oscar, by the way. Lincoln, you serve? Army. Till Uncle Sam declared me undesirable. Shit. Sorry, man. Are you always just jumping? Free drugs and booze will do that. Bonnie's people kept this circus going non-stop. Hey You're not a fan. I don't trust the bitch. Her and her fucked up little inner cycle. <laughs> you, you like that? Cause I got a line on a real party. Come on. I don't know, I don't know. And there she is in the flesh. Bonnie fucking Hollis. Look at y'all, the best, most beautiful new Bordeaux has to offer. And you deserve to drink. <laughs> Enjoy some herb. Enjoy the night. Let your mind ascend. The sky's the limit. Come on, I want to show I you something you, in Bonnie. the storage room. Maybe you can make some sense of it. Bonnie's really got her hooks in him. Oh, she does that. Picks out the neediest ones. Then she makes Bonnie Hollis the thing they need most. <laughs> See them fellas guarding the door down there? VIP area. Can't say, but Bonnie always keeps armed guards on the door. 
Heard them talking about places of darkness. Last I saw Anna, they were taking her down there. I was bringing some kegs up, found this black light uh, over there in the back. What were they using it for? Have a look for yourself. On the wall. Some kind of black light. Might be able to find my way with this. What the fuck are you doing down here, Oscar? <laughs> hey, just be cool. I should drag your fairy ass out onto the dance floor and stomp it. Okay, you got me scared. You happy now? No. no. Asshole. Ah! Oscar, what are they doing downstairs? I can't be sure, but whatever it is, it has something to do with those symbols. I'll see if I can get the guards on the door away. For a minute, at least. But you gotta move fast. Thanks, Oscar. By the way, I think tonight might be your last night working at Nuit Blanche. Don't get yourself killed down there. Coming through. Oh, I don't like the look of you. What you doing in this part of town? Oh, excuse me. Fuck that? you. Never would have believed it if I hadn't tried myself. But as God is my witness, I'm Why doing it. People probably went through here. You need to find a way to track them. Tracks. Looks like Bonnie's people have come through here. Club has been busy. I know this motherfucker, old Rebel General Braxton Mosby Harless. He and his whole clan at our old house up in Frisco Fields. Killed a bunch of black kids over in Barclay. 
These altars. I think they match places around the city. storage. Looks like a place over in the bayou. You shouldn't be here. She belongs with us, Mr. Clay. She needs us. Now, more than ever. You'll never get anywhere near Anna. You know, I had a feeling you might be resistant to my charms. Can't blame a girl for trying. We believe that humanity is ultimately doomed, Mr. Clay. Get no argument from me. Have you ever seen the life light drain from another man's eyes, Mr. Clay? I have. It's a beautiful thing. <coughs> Pure. <coughs> intimate. <coughs> My blood gave birth to this city. Owned it. Now I look around and all I see is filth. 
sit in where well borns once reigned. How sad for you. You're gonna be peak of share. Maybe you wanna sit a spell. Fine. Tell me where she is. Go fuck yourself. The filth will know their name. Bump up, please. The blessed belongs to me, Mr. Quay. Don't leave here alive. And he don't die before he tells us where Anna is. That's if. Huh? I think I'm losing it. That's not even fit to eat. No oh, thanks to you. Gotta find him. Ah, damn! Ascendee! Listen. Listen. Better not point that He's over here. He's dropping us! The hell is he? Excuse me. Call an ambulance! Huh? How did that go? Tell Bonnie we lost. Spotted lost. him! Come on! Picking us off! 
fatigue, he needs to have time. Need a second to reload. Get my ass behind some. So, he's got gotta find him. This Come help me get this, son of a bitch! Trapdoor. Looks like another way out. 